Welcome back. The smoke's still clearing after a fiery GOP presidential debate last night. The six remaining candidates facing off in South Carolina, the next state to go to the polls. And boy, was it brutal. Watch this. For most of his life, his policies have been very, very liberal. For most of his life, he has described himself as very pro choice and a, as a supporter of partial birth abortion. You the are the and I'll, single and I'll tell biggest you. liar. You probably are worse than Jeb Bush. You are the single biggest liar. All right. This guy lied. Let me just tell you. This guy lied about Ben Carson when he took votes away from Ben Carson in Iowa. And he just continued. Marco went on Univision in Spanish and said he would not rescind President Obama's illegal executive amnesty on his first day in office. I have promised to rescind every single illegal executive action, including that one. And on the question, and on the question, and on the I don't know how he knows what I said on Univision because he doesn't speak Spanish. And second of all, <laughs> the other point that I would make... Marco, si quieres, díselo ahora. Ahora mismo, díselo ahora. En español, si quieres. Look, the bottom line cover. is the people of this, of this country and this state want to see everybody rise and they want to see unity and I don't want to get into all this fighting tonight because people are Understood. frankly Governor sick Bush. of the negative campaigning and I'm going to stay positive about what Governor I want to do. Woo, on that note, let's bring in our panel. Ed Rollins is a former principal White House advisor to President Reagan, also a Fox News political analyst. Judith Miller, Pulitzer Prize winning reporter, author, and Fox News contributor. Mary Kissel, editorial board member at The Wall Street Journal. Good to see everybody. Ed, winners and losers last night. I think to a certain extent the American public lost. I think this was a very derogatory, uh, and from my perspective, if this is what we're going to go do two more debates like this, we're going to lose voters every single time we have it on there. You can't be calling each other liars, you can't be tearing each other down. And if they want to quote Ronald Reagan, who I obviously work for, they better try and practice what Ronald Reagan preached, which was don't say nasty things about your opponents, uh, Democrat or Republican. And then the death of, of, of Judge Scalia was one of the finest men I've ever known. Uh, and, and he never basically ever would get into this kind of rhetoric. I, I just think it's outrageous to have this. Yeah, I want to talk more about uh, Justice Scalia, his legacy, as well as, of course, what happens now, because this is quite important. But let's stay on the debate for a second, Judy. How, how, what are your observations? Well, I think the country may have lost head, but if you were watching television, it was an extraordinary debate. Good TV. Absolutely amazing. And I think Rubio helped himself a lot. I think he did not repeat a single thing that he had said yeah. twice. Learned lesson. And moreover, I think Kasich may have helped himself. I don't know if nice guys do not finish last, but I know that when he said this calling one another liars, this invective, this helps get Hillary Clinton elected. Yeah, we know what happened last time, Romney and uh, Obama. Exactly. So I think that they, they all did well, but I think Trump was rattled. I think he wasn't used to being booed. And some of his assertions about, for example, we can come back to this WMD, these are Democratic talking points and radical Democratic talking points. And it was just outrageous. Yeah. And I think people really you're right. That all that booing, Mary. I wasn't <laughs> expecting that. It was a fair amount. Yeah, look, it was, booing it, Trump. It was a necessary, and I think it was an educational bloodletting. Uh, New, the New Hampshire primary did not winnow the field at all, and so this debate was about taking on the front runner, Donald Trump. And there are two essential questions about Donald Trump: his temperament, and whether or not his policies are sound and good for the nation and our interests abroad. And we certainly learned about his temperament last night. Uh, he repeated uh, conspiracy theories that uh, are worthy of MoveOn.org. Uh, <laughs> You're and, right. And, and in terms of his policies, we finally started to see these candidates explaining what a Trump presidency would be. You saw Bush again explain eminent domain and what that is and how Trump has abused it. You saw uh, uh, Cruz talking about Trump on social issues that he supports partial birth abortion. And you also heard uh, some education about foreign policy. Uh, Trump said he likes Putin. Both Bush and Rubio pushed back on that and explained why that's a dangerous idea. So, yeah, it wasn't a fun thing to watch. It wasn't uh, a pretty thing to watch. Mm. But I think the American public learned a lot last night. So you think the bloom is coming off the rose a bit for, for Donald Trump? Uh, I, sounds, again, sounds when me. you think temperament and policy, I think we're finally starting to get an insight into, into both of those issues. Yeah. I, I will guarantee you Trump did not lose a supporter last night. Uh, the people, really? The people that are for him. Now, the critical thing in politics is addition. He didn't add anybody. And it's going to make it harder and harder for people on the other side to basically come support him in the end if he becomes the nominee. I think the reality is that the Democrats are very vulnerable. Uh, 
they, they're, they're, they look high-minded compared to this debate. And I think the reality here is we have many substantive things that we can win on. We've got four very substantive people left, the two governors, the two senators. Uh, Carson needs to get off the stage. He knows nothing about politics and no disrespect to him as a man. And, and Trump, obviously, is a big personality. You can put this on Monday Night Wrestling, yeah. and you get the same kind of show and the same kind of ratings. We've got to jump, but uh, I want to talk about who, who drops out next.